did we all go to high school with a girl that pretended to be pregnant so here's my story the girl literally was my friend i've known her since elementary school so i remember one day she just stopped coming to school she just stopped so me and my little friend group was texting her messaging her trying to reach her like girl where you at where you been it's been a month so then there's a rumor going around school that she got kidnapped by a black family yeah and yeah she was so one day she just came she came to school she came to school but she came to school with a bandage on her stomach telling us that her mom had stabbed her in the stomach because she found out that she was pregnant and tried to kill the baby but the story didn't make no sense because she was like yeah i was two weeks pregnant and we was like how do you girl no does the math, the math is not mathing so then it turned out she just was uh in foster care and during that time and i to this day still don't know why she lied yeah y'all remember that story i told you about that little boy burning down his house so i got an update it's not an update but i'm gonna tell you about the last time i ever talked or saw him so i remember <laughs> He just had a problem like home life like his mom was bringing home different men every single day um they would be cussing and yelling in the apartments all the time so i remember the last time i saw him he like came up to me and he's like he had something in his hands and i was like what do you have in your hands and mind you at the time he was younger much younger than me he was like in the first grade i was like in middle school so i was like hey what do you have there and he's like uh, i have a kitty and he opens his hands and it's a black cat and i was like okay um wh wh where did you Where'd you get this from? He's like, I found it in the bush. I'm struggling. I found it. In I found it in the bushes. I was like, okay, can you keep it? Can you ask your mom if you can keep it? And he's like, I'll go ask. So he runs into the house and then he doesn't come back outside. And but he handed me the cat before he went back inside. And I was just like, what am I about to do with this little kitty? So then I went. Oh, he hands me the cat before he runs back inside his house. And I could hear his grandfather yelling at him, talking about you're not about to be running in and out of his house. So he made him stay in the house. And I was like, okay, what am I about to do with this fucking cat? Like, what am I about to do? So then I go over to my friends and I'm like, yo, I got a kitty. I can't keep I can't keep this little meow meow. So I was like, what am I about to do? So I remember there's a kid in my apartments and he wasn't able to play outside because he had leukemia. And um, so I went over to his house because his mom was so nice, so sweet. She let us play in the house with him because she knew he could go outside so we would always be in his house and i asked him i was like hey i know uh so and so you know it's just in here like would you guys like a little kitty i found it or i didn't find it but some kid gave it to me and, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. and she was like absolutely i remember the last time i saw that cat they were playing and their patio window was open and the kid was playing with the cat and it was just the sweetest thing they moved shortly after that and i don't know what happened to him so yeah that was the story y'all ever eat a tooth okay so one time <laughs> when i was a little younger i was like in middle school i had one of my baby teeth left still and i remember with my friends i was eating a bag of takis and i remember one of the kids was coming up to me and they was like oh my god Monet, hide your bag of takis we don't want so and so to you know eat your whole bag of takis so i had one taki left in my hand and i was like <gasps> i ate it and i was like <laughs> and all of a sudden i heard <laughs> and i was like <laughs> And it was a little extra crunchy, but I didn't mind. So then later on that day, we was laughing, kicking it up, smiling. And one of my friends was like, Monet, did your tooth fall out? When did your tooth fall out? I was like, feeling for it. And I was like, y'all, it's gone. I was like, what happened to it? And they, I was like, I was like, I think I ate my tooth. Like, I didn't swallow it. I ate it. I chewed it up, swallowed yum yum in my tummy. So then later on that day, this kid came, comes up to me and he's all like, ew, did you really eat your tooth? And I was like, the boy comes up to me and he's like, <laughs> um, you eat teeth? And I was like, no, I just accidentally ate my tooth. And as I'm explaining it to him, he's like, stop. Is that why you're so skinny? Is that why you're anorexic? You eat teeth for breakfast and you eat bones and this, that, and the other. And he's just going up on me. And I'm like, ah, ah. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then, uh, mind you, this kid is younger than me and he was my neighbor. So my friend at the time, she's the fighter before I could even process what this little boy is saying to me. She's like, oh, you know, I'm about to talk to my friend in the kind of way with the little boy. And so then we go up to his door because we about to snitch because we was like, oh, we don't play that because we going to beat his ass if we don't snitch. So his dad puts his fingers together and whistles and the little boy comes running like a dog and then the little boy's like yeah dad and he's like hey are you messing with these girls are you making fun of them and he's like i sure did who gonna be my ass and his dad's looking at him like i did not raise you that way and so my friend gets he tries to hit my friend and my friend grabs him by his shirt and he's like wow my, as my friend is beating the absolute dog shit out of this little boy 
his dad was just watching the whole thing. He was like, I see nothing. I see nothing. What is happening? I see nothing. And so then after, after like a solid minute of this little boy getting his ass beat by my friend, the dad's like, all right, all right, y'all can stop now. Y'all can stop now. And the little boy's crying because he's a little bitch. And then the little boy's like trying to hit my friend again. And the dad's like, he pushes him into the house. And he's like, nah, you're done. He's like, but she hit me. She did me too, too. And the dad's like, nah, you shouldn't have been making fun of him. That's what you get. And then after the, he tells the little boy to go in the house. He's like, you're grounded. Go in the house. The little boy's like, no. So he goes in the house crying, screaming, and the dad apologizes to me on his son's behalf. He's like, I am so sorry. I did not raise him that way. The next day, he came to my house apologizing. He brought, they brought like some food or something. I can't even remember. But yeah. Everybody raise their hand if they have like a weird turtle story. Okay, so one time, okay, this was when I was like way too young to remember, but my oldest brother, when he was like a kid, had these pet turtles, right? Love these god dang turtles. I don't know what these names was, but he loved them, okay? Regardless. So, <laughs> oh shoot. So, I don't know why my mom thought this was okay to do to turtles. And mind you, they weren't tortoises. They were turtles, like, like, like in the water. Um, and she one day just put them outside. Put them outside. And when my brother came home that day, he came home to dead, shriveled up turtles in the driveway. And to this day, I don't think my mom owns up to that. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know why she did that. And yeah, so don't do that to turtles. Do your research before buying turtles. Yeah. Okay, so my mom doesn't like me telling this story, but I'm gonna tell it anyways. Because it's a little traumatic, but I mean, it is what it is. So, this is the last time I ever got whooped. Okay, so at the time, my mom was dating this guy, right? <laughs> he was a little bomb, but anyways, I digress. And he had a daughter. I hated her. Um, That's the gist of the story. So, she, came, she would come over to our house all the time. Eating up all our food, being rude, being foul, being goofy. So, um, I remember my mom had bought some um, cookies from the dollar store and my the little girl was like, can I hash them? And I was like, no. And then she's like, ah! So she went and told my mom and my mom was like, give her some cookies! And I was like, okay, fine. Give her cookies, I keep giving her cookies, I keep giving her cookies. It's one of those generic packs of like the sandwich cookies and there's like a million of them in there. She ate every single one of them except for like five. So obviously I got upset, I got mad, and I was like getting mad at her. And she was like, you're being mean to me! And I was like, I'm gonna tell your dad. So she beat me to it. She was like, I'm gonna go tell my dad! So she was like, Ey! and she, with her little gremlin self, ran into like my mom's room and was like, she's not letting me eat cookies even though I ate them all. And my mom, I don't know why, I think something happened with her and like the girl's dad or something, because she just was like, she came into the room talking about poof! You're not letting her eat cookies. I was like, me. And I remember I talked, I, I had talked back. And my mom was like, who you think you? And I was like, <laughs> oh, my bad. I was getting beat. So, um, yeah, she just kept whooping me. And then I remember after that, I was like, I'm gonna run away. So I ran away for a little bit. It wasn't even like running away. I packed a backpack and I went outside and walked around my neighborhood. That's all I did. And then I came back home. But as I was coming back home, my mom, the little girl, my brother was like, where are you? you? She told me he was right away. I looked at her and I almost lit her on fire. This part three to that motherfucking gremlin. Okay, so after um I got done, you know, running away or whatever, I literally come back home. And at this point in time, it's like nighttime now. Everything's settled down. She comes up to me. I'm laying down on the ground just chilling watching TV. She comes up on top of me, over me, and was like, ha, ha. You, you got beat. You and mom got, you bleh, 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 bleh. and I was like, and then she thought she had a point. She said something I cannot remember.